Hello guys, this is Honor Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Mobile Legends Bang Bang. <laughs> okay, so let me give you a couple updates since my last uh, content for this game. Uh, first of all, most importantly, I have... Let me just show you here. Uh, originally, I was on the Epic tier, as you guys know, and finally, ba bum I've made it to the Legend tier. Now, I'm just one away from the top, which is Mythic. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to reach it soon. I got 34 days left in this season. So let's see if I can do it in the next, you know, maybe less than 10 days or so. All right. Secondly, guys, you know, right now I feel like I have mastered about three assassins. And before let me, let me, uh, before I do introduce the heroes, let me just show you my emblem status. So emblem, as you guys know, is basically, you know, uh, gives you that extra points, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you, when you play the right heroes, uh, right now, if you can see, uh, my assassin emblem is at level 44. And this is my priority to master it and level it up to level 50. Now, starting from level 40, I get this third skill open up, which is called Killing Spree. A slaying an enemy hero restores 15% max HP and increases movement speed by 20% for 5 seconds. Now, this is super game-changing skill right here so it is quite great that i have that now as you guys know i love fast damage fast input fast kills you know kind of a hero so right now let me introduce the three heroes that i feel like i have mastered uh first here is the saber saber here is a massive damage input really powerful against one versus one uh unfortunately it's not one of those crowd uh damages or aoe but still great the second hero that I feel I have mastered, I've already introduced to you guys, is the Hayabusa right here with the super rare uh, November 11, 11, 11 skin right here, the new one, the Sh uh, Shura skin right here. And third, obviously, as you guys well know, is the Lancelot, my first and favorite. It's kind of like my kill shot from Macarena, by the way. But this is my Lancelot here. Uh, you know, amazing, uh, you know, dodges, great damage in end game, and loving it, especially with that Sword Master skin. Now, these three heroes, so uh, as you guys watch this content, I would love to get recommendations on the fourth assassin hero that would fit my style. Once again, guys, if you ask me what I like, it's those fast damage, you know, fast, uh, you know, chaser, basically a chasing jungle assassin hero. So I would love to get fourth recommendation and I'll choose from your recommendations, the fourth hero to practice. Now, let's go into the ranked game today. And, uh, you know, I cannot say what hero I'm going to be able to showcase today for you. But, uh, you know, as I'm on the legend tier right here, I'm going to try to get either Saber or Hayabusa. And whatever hero I'm able to showcase today will be on the thumbnail of today's video. Although, personally, I would love to show my currently master level Hayabusa, okay? But if I if they if the team or you know sorry, if the opponent bans Hayabusa, Your obviously team. I can't choose it. So I will be playing the Saber as secondary option. Okay, here we go. I am going to just show not that my not so uh, <laughs> proudful, um, you know, match history right there. I got about 60, what is it, 65 percent, 66 percent win rate with my Hayabusa. A lot of it was because of my losses in the beginning while I was practicing it for the first time. Okay, my Your Hayabusa is, is banned. banned by the opponent. It's obviously a great hero. So the uh, you know the ban rate is high. So today's content will be me playing Saber. Okay, here we go. And let's <laughs> let's just pray the that they don't ban banning. Saber. If let's just pray. It's very unlikely that they will ban Saber though. Okay, so Please it seems they banned hero. another assassin right there. Here we go. My Saber with the epic skin looks pretty awesome right there. Looks very deadly. So today's content will be my first time showcasing you my saber skills <laughs> okay well if i tell you i've been playing saber uh you know quite a while now so uh i think i'll be able to show you and represent somewhat of a mid no you know skilled to Your maybe mid high skilled saber okay so as you guys know only assassins right now let's look at what's going on here so i got an aldus is that how you say it? aldus aldus let's just call it aldus the right here second player on our team nope he changed at the last moment matilda is a support assassin interesting okay i'm going to assume it's going to be a support roam we got sun right here super late game end game 
uh, hero very strong when it grows and has all its equipments ready it's the fighter it's a pusher basically right it pushes lanes very powerful in the fights the opponent right now first player is a gourd which is i'm going to assume is mid lane as a mage layla very very top tier uh, archer very nice choice from there as the marksman probably going to farm it out and we got gushin gushin is the assassin very powerful as well uh, not so much in the beginning but you know as it grows end game mid to end game it's very powerful assassin right there good choice from the opponents uh, by the way gushin is not a physical attack right it's a magic attack and they got bane bane is very nice crowd control has some great damage it's a fighter it's also quite tanky our team fourth player has chosen balman that's the fighter and we got clint as the marksman so one issue that i see right now is that we don't have a tank okay but balman is quite a nice tanky fighter so it'll, you know it'll do the tank role also sun even though it's very, you know, it's squishy, it, it makes a lot of illusions and etc. So it will be able to make the play of, you know, somewhat uh, providing a little bit of tank for the team. All right, very interesting teams here. I see that the opponents also don't have a full on tank. So it'll be a very, you know, quick battles, very powerful, you know, hard hit battles. Once we get into about mid game where we're doing a lot of four versus four, five versus five battles going on, okay? I'm very, very, uh, you know, uh, anticipating this game to be quite exciting. Hopefully the team skill levels are very similar. Here we go. Uh, for the Saber guys, uh, there's only one skill you can put up in the beginning, which is the first one, because there's no way you would put up the second skill uh, unless you're going lane, okay? So if you're going jungle, the first skill is a must. There is no other option to choose between the second. Okay, so the first skill is just quite amazing. It gets all these blades running through. It gives you additional damage and also a little bit of splash damage uh, when you do your normal attacks. All right, and basically, you know, a lot of players when watching this will probably tell me, hey, don't use retribution first. But, you know, honestly, it's very rare to see, uh, you know, especially in, you know, this level of game, like, not, you know, not super competitive game to have players come and rush in. You know, it happens maybe every five games. So, so I just use it quick so that I can get it ready for my second, the fire uh, minion right there on the bottom right there. Here we go. Get that second me uh, fire mech here get to get that buff. Very important, especially for heavy damage like Saber or, you know, uh, Hayabusa, these kind of heroes. This minion right here is the most important minion until the end of the game. All right, so we got this. All right, very nice. Very quick uh, kills right now. And we are going to hit level 4 once I kill this creep two times, right? This creep, it spawns twice, right here. The second mini spawn has come out. Boom, ready for my ult. My ult is almost like a full-on fairy. Ah, it hit the Nana instead of the Layla. The Nana has a skill where it doesn't die. Here we go, let's see if they're hiding here. There we go. That Nana was hiding there, trying to take a run. All right, this is not good. I have to dodge it. Oh, okay. It's okay. I got the first blood, and we got, uh, you know, I died, unfortunately. All right, I'm, ooh, that was a very brave move from Clint there. Not so smart. Okay, it's fine. Here we go. I see the turtle spawned on the top lane, so I'm going to kill this minion right here and try to go straight for the turtle. All right, let's see. Right here, the turtle is here. So we're going to kill this and try to move in. I'm going to start giving the signal to my team so that they can get ready to help me kill the turtle quick. All right, I use my retribution. By the time I'm about to kill the turtle, my retribution should be ready to go. I got 20 seconds. Let me see if I can use my ult once before. There we go. Got the kill, excellent. Here we go. Come on, guys. Let's go in. Let's go in for the turtle. Excellent. Okay, I see. If you see the mini-map just right now, there's three heroes, opponent heroes, on the other side. Oh, my God. My retribution was not ready. The, the opponent stole that kill. Not good. Not good. Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm feeling a little bit sorry for my team right there. What is Clint doing? Why is he attacking my uh, red... I don't know what he's doing. 
This is a sign of a very big noob right now. Not good. If our marksman is a noob, that concerns me a lot. I am quite worried right now. Here we go. All right, I see too many down here. It's going to be a little bit dangerous for me to jump in with my ult. I honestly have no idea what my, my teammate marksman, the Clint, is doing. He doesn't seem very good. He doesn't seem very good. This is not good. This is not good. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Please tell me. This is not good. I'm seeing a very, very newbie Clint right now. This is not good. Is there anyone here? Nope. The Layla is hugging the tower. All right, I see a lot of gank going on from the opponent team. I need to help my team right here. Let's see. Let's see if I... Okay, here we go. I see one mid. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Do you think I can get the kill? Is there anything I can kill? There we go. Got the Bane. Balman is coming in with me. I got my Retribution ready. Not sure if we can get the kill. Not sure. I'm going to push out. I'm going to push out. I think it's not time. Right here. All right. All right, let's pull out. Let's pull out. Boom. Okay. Got to run. I'm going to leave Balman to it. I'm going to let him run away by himself. He is not a baby, but nope. He decided to fight, and he has died. Okay, I definitely see the skill level of my team is a little bit questionable right now. Okay? But it's okay. I'm going to try to be the game changer here. I don't know what Clint is doing. Look at that guy. I don't know why he's farming creeps instead of staying in the lane. Let's look at his score right now. Clint is one kill, two deaths. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, let's just hope things go well here, okay? All I really need is my son. Uh, to grow. <laughs> my son. Yeah, my son, the monkey son here over there to grow. Okay, if he grows, it's very, very possible to win the game. Here we go. I see the Nana. If I use a skill, Nana is going to use the ult to run. There we go. Okay, I still got my retribution. There we go. Did I get the kill? Oh my god. Tell me the tell me it died. Yes. Nana died from Clint, in fact, not from me. Unfortunately. Okay, let's see my um I've got two kills, two death. Not too great, but considering, you know, my situation of my teammates, especially Clint. Who is, you know, very, very wants to jump into action and die. Not good. Especially a marksman should not Memory be doing that, right? And he should not be killing the like creeps. The in the okay, it's alright. Let's go in. We're still gonna win. No excuses. This is how we do it here. Alright, as the, my teammates and the opponents are busy fighting at top, I'm going to be using that distraction to take down the turtle. Hopefully my teammates will see my signal here to come and help me will they come will they come watch your head all right if the opponents don't come i can take it down myself here we go just need this time one two three there we go got the got the uh, turtle excellent all right that is good i got this uh little shield buff all right here we go i got my ult ready so i should be you know trying to decide where to go in for my next kill right now so i'm looking at bot right now I see the Nana. The problem with Nana, once again, is even if you are right about to kill it, it gets an automatic, uh, you know, a passive that allows it to not die, right? It has this one-time immortality. All right, I'm going to assume everyone's going to go up top to fight. Gushin is on the back following Clint, so Clint is definitely going to die. Oh, please. Come on. This is so annoying. Here we go. Gushin, take that down. Ooh, okay. Let's pull out. Okay, at least we killed the uh, opponent assassin, the Gushin. All right, that is good. What is this? Oh, I can dash through. I, I don't know the heroes all yet, so sometimes I need to just click and check. Literally click and check. All right, here we go. Getting the blue. This is what I call the blue, the one that gives you the fire damage buff. I call it the red. All right, here we go. Because I'm an old Dota player. <laughs> Terminologies. Red and blue. All right, here we go. I'm going to take a peek here. All right. I don't know what is going on here. Yeah, it's definitely not a good time to fight. I'm going to go actually straight for that assassin right there, the Gushin. There we go. 
I'm gonna actually jump in and get the kill and run away. That's right. That was worth the jump. And I'm going to take steal the opponent red. Excellent. So right now, as you guys know, in a one versus one scenario, Saber is probably on the top tier, top, top, top tier for a 1v1 situation because of his ult, right? The ult can only hit, lock onto one opponent, but it just does so much damage. Here we go. As everyone is super busy at bot, I am going to top and the Gushin on the opponent side says, good Gushin. Thank you very much, my friend. If you ever do see this video, here we go. We're going straight for the turtle. I know 100% the opponents are going to go down to bot to support. Oh, Gushin is right here. He is trying to steal my turtle. So I'm going to let the turtle heal back up. And I'm going to need to call for my teammates. Here we go. All right. So my teammates must come. I cannot hit that turtle right now. The opponents know exactly that I'm going for that turtle right here. So, oh, okay. The turtle has just switched over into the the Lord, right? The Kentar. All right, Sun. Oh, I don't know what's going on. My teammates are taking all my minions and creeps. It's all right. All right. Just like the silhouette. I got a very important weapon just right now. A, a very important equipment. A real game changer. There we go. Killed Gushin again. Excellent. I'm gonna go around. Layla, right there. Layla, right there. There we go. Massive damage. Look at that. There we go. The sun got it. My sun. <laughs> My sun got the kill. There we go. The blade swinging around. And there we go. Got Bane with mega kill. Excellent. There we go. My ult is ready. So instead of going for the kill, I'm going to go straight for the tower. There we go. And guess what? Top is also ready. Right for battle. Right for the tower. We got two towers ready. This was a perfect play right here. I think we might even finish the game. I think we might even be able to finish the game. There we go. Got the kill. Unstoppable. And a very, very quick game right there. Guys, I must be MVP, right? Let's take a look. It has to be me, guys. I, I carried the team on this one. Yes, there we go. MVP with my saber. Pulled my team to the win. Even with the crazy noob Clint Marksman on our team. Excellent. Got my 30th MVP there. <laughs> All right. Give everyone that thumbs up. All right, guys. So today was an introduction and little update to my status. As I told you, I'm currently in the legend tier right here. I'll be hitting mythical soon. I promise you I will make it happen. Also, just a recap is that uh, right now, as you guys know, I'm working on all the assassin heroes. First is the Saber, right here, with that epic skin, Omnimaru. I got the Hayabusa, which I'll follow up with the content showing up my upgraded skills. And I got my Lancelot mastered up with the Sword Master skin, super rare as well. Now, guys, once again, please, on the comments, please give me a recommendation for the fourth assassin that I should be mastering and practicing. If you ask me once again what kind of hero that I would love you guys to recommend is one that chases, one that does mass, uh, you know, mass damage in a quick amount of time, gets the kill and pulls out, something around those lines would be, uh, please, favorable for the recommendation. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Mobile Legends series as well, and I'll be following up with the Hayabusa content real soon. Take care, guys. This was Honor Gaming.